get closer to Christmas. I told you guys it's literally like a butter clean up. <laughs> we are all out. Egg whites. Look, this is my first time eating the um, egg whites from Starbucks. Okay, thank you. Y'all know I usually get something bigger than this, but I'm gonna stick with this for the day. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to another video. Today is Thursday, December 22nd. Getting close to Christmas, y'all, but I have a few clients today, and I have to run out and go get a Christmas present for the kids 30 minutes from where I am, and then I got to come back, finish up another client, and a Christmas party this afternoon with my mom for the Secret Santa or the Santa Claus for the children, and I'm going to take you guys to that as well, but for right now... I am uploading a YouTube video from yesterday, so you guys see that today, and you'll see this video in a couple of days, but since it is 9.56 this morning, about to turn over the room so I can get ready for this post-op client who is on her way up here, so I'll see y'all in a minute. Since it's a post-op client, I usually put a towel on the end of the bed because they usually stand up right here and just kind of bend over so that I can massage their back, so I'm going to put this down for her. Well, actually, I'm going to let her lay down. So. Just finished up my post-op client. I just got a message from a virtual assistant. She told me that she went ahead and scheduled our post. So I'm about to just hop into my scheduler and actually follow up to see if she scheduled them and see what she scheduled. So I'm about to check that because I was getting a little frustrated because I was like, girl, I thought you were supposed to be scheduling these posts and I didn't see anything, so I might see exactly what she did. And it looks like she did schedule the post, so let me show y'all what she did. Okay, so she went into our business manager and she scheduled all of the posts. These are the posts that went out. Uh, what was that? Tuesday. Today is Thursday, so she scheduled this one to go out, which they've already gone out. She scheduled this, and she scheduled this. So I have my post already scheduled for Saturday. So this is one, two, three, four. She has one more to schedule. So I'm going to ask her to schedule that one for Monday. And that is it for the week. Oh, wait, you know what? Christmas Day, she's supposed to schedule something. And she did. Here it is right here. So she's actually already scheduled our post to December 27th, which is really, really good. So when things start getting hectic for you and you need to hire a virtual assistant, check into Virtual Assistant Academy or whatever you got to do to find you a VA. Maybe hire somebody in your community that you trust and you can bring in and show them how to do it. But again, I told y'all I was going to try this VA out for like a week or two or maybe a month before I come in and let you guys know the steps that I took to find her because I want to make sure it's legit and it's going to really benefit because she's supposed to write the captions for me, do my um, demographic research to make sure she's using the right hashtags to target the clients that I want to come into my facility. So I'm going to try it out and see what the return and revenue is versus when I'm doing it for myself before I give the information to y'all because right now we're just scheduling posts. Anybody can schedule posts. So I just want to make sure that it has a return on its investment. So I'll let y'all know. I'll keep y'all updated on what I think about this, the process that I took. All right. Tell me what you got for me. Why is that updated like that? Um, it's 55. No, I mean, you were going to tell me about... Um... Oh, the spa memberships? Currently in Florence at Walmart. Remember, remember, I told you guys I had to leave to come pick up a Christmas gift from Walmart pickup. So I'm picking this up before I go back. Oh, and pick Kayla up. Then I'll go back to the spa. But I feel like this week I had a lot of footage to show you guys because it's been a really busy like holiday week which is good and then I got a lot of phone calls this week for people wanting to get gift cards because 
as it get closer to Christmas, I told you guys it's gonna be like key in all spa, all massage therapists, all state of service businesses. As you get closer to Christmas, people are running out of ideas. So they're like, let me just get something. So gift cards, spa gift cards are perfect stocking stuffers. And that's exactly what the clients are doing right now, coming and purchasing gift cards for the spa i had a client come monday no not monday because i don't work on monday tuesday and she literally brought seven gift cards one client seven gift cards and i was like lord i was so shocked and grateful i was really really shocked really but grateful at the same time but she brought seven gift cards we sat there we swiped them all Put them all in the little gift card folders for her so she can fill them out and now she has seven people that are going to come into our spa and we can then you know try to retain the clients or will retain the clients let me see if this guy coming to me child he almost lost the whole baggie but y'all let me tell you um a conversation that i was having with my client so he owns a cigar bar here in hartsville and he was like giving me some game or whatever like he's a generation up from me so he's an older generation and he was telling me he was like listen your generation y'all young people y'all like the social media so which is true but then some of us you know don't like social media but for business we tend to think we need social media a lot and so what he was explaining to me he was like um you are the person that needs to be sold so when you're trying to contact my generation or somebody like me with disposable income i ain't going on social media looking to see what the business is doing i'm on social media seeing what the owner is doing or i'm on social media seeing what my family and friends are doing but not necessarily their business updates i'm just trying to relate to you because i'm relationable and i'm like yeah that is very very true we the people need relations people connect with you because of who you are not what your business is and not what you're doing in your business but how you are responding as a person and i was like yeah that is a good point sir so he said um when you're trying to get somebody in the door, be relational, you know, to them and show up in places that they're going to show up. So you want to show up somewhere where your client has disposable income because they're out. They can do that. They can afford that. They're settled. They're establishing their life. So he was like, come on to the cigar bar lounge tonight because we have a group that's performing. So come on out, bring some of your business cards, bring a friend and just mingle and see the different atmosphere that I'm telling you about. So I'm like, okay. Okay, almost like a networking event. So y'all, I think after this Christmas party, me and my homegirl Patrice are gonna go to the lounge tonight and see what he's talking about. And guess what? I'm taking y'all with me. So I'm excited to see this. Y'all know I'm an introvert, turn non-introvert, but I'm excited to see how this play out. And, and take my business cards. That's one of the hardest thing I have to do. Like I can talk on the camera i can talk on social media but when it comes to face-to-face -face contact it's like i freeze up when it's time to have an actual business conversation so <sighs> i'm gonna try it out and see what we can make and see how many customers of his i can turn into clients in the spa so let's 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 I'll, let's see Y'all, I went in one store since the last time I talked to y'all. And it's crazy. This is exactly why I don't do Christmas shopping. And why I'm so ready for this holiday to be over. Because it is a madhouse out here in these holidays. Streets. I only went to Ulta. That was it. I need to go to um, Five Below, Target, and Chipotle. And I'm going home. See, Chipotle is right here. <laughs> right there so i'm going to chipotle five below and i'm probably gonna skip target because i just don't have time but y'all i wanted to show you what i got out of ulta because my good sis whitney hey whitney hey told me about good molecules right so i got their yeah, whatever i got their um their cleansing balm and she told me that if you are a makeup wearer which i don't wear makeup like that but sometimes i do and if you don't have a um cleanser a makeup remover she said that this cleansing balm will take 
anything you got off your face so I just want to show you guys real quick so this is the little container that it comes in it's a tin container and when you open it it has this little top on it and it comes with this little spoon and so when you open it it's just like a butter literally like a butter you can see it now yep so i'm excited to use this later because like i told y'all i'm going to the cigar lounge with my homegirl to you know network and i am going to put on a little bit of makeup so i'm going to try this on after well use it to take my makeup off and i hope i like it because whitney said that it was really really good so yeah but i'm about to go inside below you guys get something else for these doggone kids for christmas <sighs> chipotle and i'm going back to the spa because i can't be out here it's three o'clock my client comes in an hour and a half so i gotta go so i'll see y'all back at the we spot. back y'all we made it back into the spa please don't pay attention to my little pimple popper popper pimple popper patch right here but anyway we made it back into the spa waiting on a client y'all when i got here oh excuse me y'all this wig is itching by the way this is a half wig a uh, headband wig and it is so convenient but when i got here one of my clients was I was sitting in the parking lot and she was like girl i was waiting for you to get back because i need some gift cards gift cards are key they're very essential if you haven't learned anything from these vlogmas episodes these past couple of days gift cards are extremely essential you guys i keep telling y'all that get you some gift cards for your clients they are going to love them they are easy gifts to give who doesn't want to spot that gifted to them from someone else come on now come on y'all let me show y'all my chipotle bowl Mm, 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 mm. and i'm sorry if i'm smacking i taste a little bit i dabbled in this little corner right here it is so good and i got my little chile sauce i love chipotle i love chipotle i love it and if you don't love chipotle i'm so sorry for you but the chicken burrito bowl top tier i mean because you don't want you know working with the hands so you know what my body needs Tell me. all right y'all it is dark it's like really dark it's closing time. I just finished that client. As you saw, she also brought a gift card. So I am about to rush up out this door because I need to go to this church where my mom is. So I see y'all at church. As you can tell from, them, from that last clip, that Christmas party took me out, all the way out. It's a lot of kids, it's a lot of gifts, it's a lot of grown people, it's a lot of toys. It was just a lot of a lot. So, with that being said, Patrice and I both agree that we'll try the cigar um, lounge tomorrow. So, if I do go to the cigar lounge tomorrow, I will pick y'all back up. But today is the last day before Christmas. We are closing up today at 1 o'clock. And we'll be back on Tuesday. So, yeah. I got one client today. This morning, I have a 90-minute session. Then, um, I have to meet with uh, some environmental inspector today for the building. And then, after that, me and Chastiva are going to lunch for our holiday employee spa dinner type thing so that's pretty much it today so we just cruising through the day and see what happened see what happened today You deserve it. For sure. <laughs> I don't know. Did you pay on mine? I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Look. Friends, do you guys remember when I showed you my gift card that I got from Square? We are all out. Look at there. 
empty, completely gone. All other gift cards are completely sold out for the holiday. We still have e-gift cards, but all of the physical cards are gone. Gone. But so I'm finished with my client that I had today. She had a 90 minute session, so I'm done with her. Chesiva is finishing up her facial. She had an hour facial. I'm still waiting on the environmentalist, but until he shows up, I'm about to go ahead and clean up and get ready to close down the spa for the day. Since we're not coming back to Tuesday, I'm going to go ahead and clean up for the day or, or just wrap up the spa day. Okay, I'm done with cleaning up the spot for today. So also, since I got a few minutes before we go to our holiday lunch, I'm gonna go ahead and complete payroll for the both of us this week. So I don't have to worry about doing anything after today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on payroll. Y'all, so we are on our way to Sam Kendall's for our holiday dinner or whatever. But I feel like I'm like, hello, how are you? I'm always telling y'all, ma'am. How are you? Good. <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like I'm always telling y'all that we're going to Sam Kendall's because that's the only restaurant we got in Hartsville, so that I like. So we're going to Sam Kendall's for our holiday lunch. And y'all know Chessie doesn't like to be on the camera, so I'll just show y'all my plate. <laughs> It's too cold out here. I'm about to go on Family Dollar. I was going to take you guys with me, but I'm scared that the wind is going to blow my little camera away. So I will talk to you guys in the next vlog. This concludes my day at the spa. I'll be back in the spa on Tuesday and we'll pick up then if I don't record our Christmas party on Saturday night, which I probably won't. I probably just take this time to just edit and be with my family. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Have a very good weekend and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you out there watching um guys i also i think i am about to do my first giveaway i've been here on youtube for <clears throat> a little over a year now probably a year and one month to be exact so yay and we've grown to almost 400 subscribers which i'm super excited about it like that's pretty dope so i think i want to do a giveaway i just got to figure out how i want to go about doing it but y'all stay tuned for that make sure you check out the next video or the next couple of videos i don't know i'm gonna mention it soon i just got to figure out all the tricks and trades of doing a giveaway but i'm gonna do one because i've been up here for one year and i've been consistent and you guys have been consistently flowing with me so it's time to do a giveaway okay so i'll see you guys in the next video like i said to the end keep being great talk to y'all later